Hi, I'm Erin Garvin with Empower Pilates and Yoga. Did you know that 80% of all people will experience lower back pain at some time during their life? I want to share with you three easy postural tips to help keep your lower back feeling good. Let's take a closer look at the lower back for these postural tips. The first tip is to avoid lordosis or sway back. This is the posture that gymnasts assume after the end of a routine, where the lower back curve is excessive, the fanny is sticking out, and the abdominals are not toned or contracted. What you'd like to do is have a normal lower back curve, so a slight inward curve of the lower back, and in this position you'll feel that the abdominals are helping. Another way to think of this is if the pelvis is a bowl, you don't want your pelvic bowl to spill water forward. In this lordotic posture, the water spills forward. So you'll use your abdominals to pull the pubic bone, this bottom bone, up so that the water of your pelvis wouldn't spill forward or back. The second postural tip is to avoid this posterior tilt, and that's when the fanny is underneath too far of the ribs. So in this position, you can create low back pain and it ends up pressing the head forward because of the way that the back curves try to adjust for this excessive lower back curve. So in this position, the pelvic water would be spilling backwards. You again want that pelvic bowl so that the hip bones are level and that the water of the pelvis wouldn't spill forward or back. In this position, the two hip bones, or ASIS bones, are in the same vertical plane as the pubic bone. This triangle of the two hip bones and the pubic bone are in the same vertical plane. So in neutral spine, you have a natural lower back curve, you have a lower abdominal tone, and your water of your imaginary pelvic bowl wouldn't spill forward or back. The third postural tip to help avoid lower back pain is an anteriorly placed pelvis. It looks like this. In this position, the pelvis is way ahead of the rest of the body. The lower back is getting too much pressure and strain. And this also makes the head compensate by going forward, which puts even more stress on the lower back and more stress on the neck. So back to our neutral pelvis, lower back has a natural curve, the abdominals have a little bit of tone, the pelvic bowl is not spilling water forward or back, and the two hip bones are in the same vertical plane as the pubic bone. And now you have three easy postural tips to help your lower back feel great. Thank you so much for joining me, Erin Garvin, and for more healthy videos, please visit the website at empowerpilates.net. We're here to help you feel stronger, leaner, and calmer. Thank you and have a good day.